Well, that wasn't the best cast, but I got like five. Uh, five mullet to start off with. guys who are wondering, I got a new cast net. It is an 8 foot Tim Wade 3 fourths mesh. And I still feel like I can't throw it perfectly, but I'm practicing. It's about 9 right there. Alright. That should be good. Just nailed about a dozen mullet or so. That's about all I can keep in the 5 gallon bucket anyway. And we are going to uh, look for some tarpon, some snook, some redfish, maybe even a trout. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And uh, let's catch some fish today. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna target is tarpon. So I got my 5500, the heavy rod here. Got a seven knot circle hook. We got, I believe this is 50 pound leader. And I just need a mullet now. This guy should do, it's maybe, six seven inch mullet right there i think i just heard one roll to my right so we're in the right spot just got to get one to eat now oh one going down the trees right here a couple actually mullet was actually just racing back to the boat. Let's see if he'll hit it again. Those two tarpon right there just swimming down the trees very slow. When the mullet hit the water it seemed like they spooked but wrapped around again and blasted it. Oh they're eating. Slow roller over there. Mullets on the surface. That's good. Yep, and there we go. Oh, it's a big fish. Just gotta stay tight now. He's got docks all over the place. Oh my god. Shook it. <sighs> oh, dang. That was probably 30, 35 pound fish right there. Had him three jumps and then shook it, but that's about all I can do. All right, that was cool. Big fish floating here, big fish. My gosh. He's gonna jump on the other side of the boat. Oh my gosh, I had the mullet three feet from the boat. Holding it next to the boat and I just got, oh, oh my gosh. What the heck? Holy crap, that scared. Oh my God, that scared me to death. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, I was holding the mullet just like this, looking this way. Mullet's just sitting on the surface and gets murdered. Oh my gosh. I'm not even mad that I lost him. Oh my gosh, he wasn't that big, he was only like 15 pounds, but that scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh, crazy how you can throw on a roll 100 times, no eat. And I'm holding the mullet three feet from the rod tip and it gets smoked. Oh my gosh. No for two so far, but Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. I saw one like a minute earlier that I threw on and he followed, he knows the mullet around for a little bit. I wonder if that was the same one. If that, that tarpon came back and ate it when I reeled it back to the boat. God, that scared, that scared the crap out of me. Oh my. Underneath the motor. Holy crap. Please eat him again. Holy crap. The mullet launched like eight feet high. Or like five feet high. Oh. Please eat him again. Decided he didn't want to eat again. I've never seen a mullet fly that high out of the water after being popped by a fish. <laughs> it was like easily five feet out of the water he popped. Him. Stuck him good that time, holy crap. Holy crap. Not a mega or anything, but it's a nice tarpon. <laughs> Dang! I saw him slide underneath that dock and I just pitched the mullet in there and like within a second of it hitting the water got thumped. You giving up that easy? Even the little guys are so strong. When you first grab them and they shake their head like that, they are so strong. Couldn't imagine a 100 pound tarpon grabbing him, but. All right, first tarpon of the day right there, probably, I don't know, eight to 10 pounds. Little guy blew up the mullet. That was crazy, but <clears throat> I can't even speak. First tarpon of the day, we'll go ahead and land back in the water. So that hook set is the best you could ask for right there, right on top of the head. Now we'll just lay him in the water here. Look at those giant eyes. Crazy, right? It's gonna blast off here and wet the camera watch. I haven't caught many tarpon on the channel this year. I guess I haven't really put much effort in for them, but they are awesome fish. Oh my gosh, Whew. I was about to grab his head again to pull it and he blasted off. Probably would have took my finger off if I put my thumb in the mouth there. Whew. Let's check that leader real quick, see if it's frayed up. This is 50 pound mono and it seems pretty good. I mean, it's got a little bit of slime on it, but that'll be okay. We just need another mullet now. Tarpon right here, watch this guys. Did he eat it? Did not eat it. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. I threw at him and the mullet raced away. Didn't look like the tarpon saw him. And he in fact was chasing him the whole time. 
tarpon in the 20 to 50 pound range really suck at eating mullet. They miss them a lot. My mullet is hyped up now. Scared as crap. All right guys, so I went ahead and moved over to some backwater stuff. I took like an hour, literally hour long drive to uh, come check this out. So I'm looking for trout, redfish, tarpon. Here's a tarpon right here. You get it? I think I got him. Yep. I got him. Oh, wow. Oh, throw the hook. <laughs> that was a baby tarpon anyway. Oh, 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 they're eating the mullet. They're eating the mullet that shook off. Oh, check that out. Are they going to hit it again? Yep, got them. Oh, they're munching. Let's get another mullet. I think I got it eaten. They're trying to eat it. They're trying to eat it. They're eating the mullet. Can't tell if they got it. They're trying to. Oop. They're too small for this mullet. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Here's a good one. the big mullet. All right. All right. Landing tarpon solo isn't the easiest thing, but there we go. Biggest one of the day right there. Probably uh, 15 to 20. Nice fish, but circle hook right in the top of the mouth there. I've been having them jump off one after the other today, but I'll take this. The last fish that I uh, jumped off, I swear, was like 60 or 70 pounds. See ya. All right, I think I'm gonna throw the paddle tail around for a little bit and then head home because it's so dang hot out today. But I think, I think that was the last mullet. Let me see. Yeah, that's the last mullet. We'll throw the paddle tail around for a little bit. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <laughs> Crushed it. Oh. <laughs> Dude, weighted worm hooks do not work for tarpon. <laughs> 
Alrighty guys, thank you guys for watching the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you actually liked it. And uh, if you didn't like it, well, let me know in the comments section why you didn't. But if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, sorry for uh, sorry for losing so many tarpon today. I guess that's kind of how it goes with tarpon fishing. What, I probably had 10 to 15 eats and I got two to the boat. Sounds about right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Life so cold, lukewarm love, just took it to the stove. You were bad, news all kind, no pro. We grew apart fast. I guess we was reaping what we sold. I guess we was unequally old.